What's up guys? Uh, another video. Uh, last or yesterday I talked about water intake a little bit and last night I got quite a few um, emails which was awesome. You know I really appreciate people that uh, email and ask questions. I think that's great and I'd, I'd love to take the time to answer them. Um, some of the questions I got last night were what are the specific types of foods that I eat which is again a really great question. Um, I know when I first started training that was the biggest question in my mind it was it was frustrating what can I eat what I what can I not eat and I think the the best thing to do is go through and find 15 uh, foods that are healthy that are considered clean eating and stick with those for a while and plan your meals around those um, and you know we're creatures of habit yeah, typically we'll we'll do that anyways we eat the same types of foods so um, if you pick those those clean foods and you stick with that, that that's going to help you be more successful than trying to stress about, oh, what do I eat today? You know, do I need to be create something different? So um, for me, I, again, I stick with the same types of foods um, that, that are my favorites. You know, sushi, I love sushi. It's a favorite per se, but I'm not going to eat it daily or, or weekly. And, you know, when I'm cutting down the white rice, I, I don't eat the white rice, but it's something that I consider that a favorite, but it's not, it's a different type of favorite. I'm talking about things that you're going to eat frequently. Um, sushi is not all that affordable either, so it's something that, you know, is more realistic, especially with my budget as a teacher. Um, so I'm going to go over three types or three categories of food. Um, the first one is going to be your carbohydrates. Um, I think carbohydrates get that, that bad rap that you're not supposed to have carbs, and I think you know, I, I disagree. I mean, carbs are a source of energy, and I think the important part is, you know, again, what type of carbs you're eating, but also the timing of your carbs. Um, my carbohydrates, typically I'll have them first thing in the morning after I fasted all night, um, and then I'll have them pre-workout and post-workout to, to energize my workout and give me energy to, to get through the workout. And then afterwards, within that window of opportunity, that you know, about a half an hour after you exercise, um, having a carbohydrate then. The second thing I was going to go over is I'm going to go over is protein. Um, protein is definitely so important, especially with maintaining muscle mass. Um, my goal as I'm leaning out is to maintain as much of my of my muscle mass as possible. Which you know, if I'm not keeping my protein up high enough, you know, I'll definitely start losing size, which I don't want. Um, and the last thing is fats. Um, fats again is another thing that kind of gets the bad rap. People get that misconception that. Okay, well, if I want to lose body fat, I need to stop eating body fat, or, and or not body fat, but fats. Um, I went through that myself. I got to a certain point, and I got down to 10% body fat, and I, I just got stuck, and I couldn't lose anymore. And I reevaluated my diet and showed a friend what I was eating, and they're like, "Well, you cut, you don't have any fats in your your diet, so your body's holding on to the fat that you had because it's not getting any fat." So that made sense to me. Okay, well, I need to have some fat. So good fats, of course. Um, and as soon as I did that, my, my body fat continued to drop. So it really is a, a balancing game. But anyhow, I'm going to turn my phone around. First time I've done this, so hopefully I get a good picture here. I'm going to start with the first thing, which is my carbohydrates. Um, yams and sweet potatoes are really one of my favorite things. They're cheap. You know, I'll poke some holes in them with a the fork, throw them in the microwave, and I'm good to go. So I love yams. I love mixing peanut butter in with them and putting oatmeal, quinoa. Quinoa is one of these complete um, carbohydrates that have all the branch chain amino acids. Oatmeal, I have a half a cup every morning for breakfast. Brown rice. Um, I have my whole wheat pasta. I love rice cakes. I'll have a couple of those before I work out, a couple after. I like putting peanut butter on those as well. Um, and I actually do keep fruit into, in my, my diet. Um, I like bananas and blueberries and apples. And I put that there because th these are actually considered... A carbohydrate but you got to be careful with these because if you eat too many of them you know they have a natural sugar but you know you can raise the sugar level so on um, the next thing is my protein I put up here about a gram and a half to two grams per pound of body weight is generally what I try to stick with I would say in the very least one gram um, my protein sources are chicken uh, turkey I love ground turkey I love making or actually my wife making um, turkey burgers uh, fish, I love fish as well. Um, tuna, canned tuna also falls into that, which is a little bit more affordable, or tilapia. Um, egg whites, of course. I have those in the morning for breakfast. There's so many benefits to egg whites. And then my whey isolate protein. Um, my whey protein is so important for me because it's convenient. I'm able to get the numbers up to where I need to be for my daily numbers. 
Um, fats, again, I talked about how they had a bad rap, but it's important to know what types of fats. So peanut butter, and I say peanut butter, I don't mean Skippy or whatever. I mean the natural um, peanut butter. And almond butter is another favorite. Almonds, most nuts are, are beneficial. Um, olive oil, avocados. And I put generally have about two to three servings of those a day. So for instance, or for example, uh, peanut butter, a serving is two tablespoons. So I'll have two, or two servings a day. So maybe I'll spread it out. Maybe I'll do a tablespoon in the morning, a tablespoon in the afternoon, kind of spread that out, maybe right before bed. And then I put water intake again, which I talked about yesterday, which I go a gallon and a half to two gallons. It's something I didn't show you guys yesterday because it's hard to keep track of what you're drinking. Um, I actually have a water bottle. 